From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Mike Kruger. Let's take a look at your evening forecast. It is Sunday, we're wrapping up the weekend. Maybe you're kind of watching to get yourself ready for next week. You've come to the right place because we're gonna talk about what we've got going on the rest of the evening tonight. And then of course the chances for showers and thunderstorms going into tomorrow. Now most of them I think are gonna be in Trinity County, but overall uh, I do expect mainly dry conditions for many of us, uh, especially in Del Norte and Humboldt counties here as we take you into the next couple of days. So there's a look at Battery Point, uh, Crescent City here. Still look at those overcast skies. It's been kind of a foggy day. I mean, we take you down south here into uh, Elk Country, just north of Trinidad. There you can kind of see those overcast skies there as well. So kind of that fog kind of really hugging the coast quite well. Let's take a look at what's going on. We've got more mountain showers and thunderstorms here through Monday. And then it looks like big temperature drop for the inland areas as we take you through next week with a possibility for some more mountain showers and thunderstorms here by parts of next week. However, I think most of it will be to the east. So even Trinity County, most likely staying dry through most, if not all of next week. Now let's take a look at this smoke because it's gonna be a bit of an issue and a concern here. Here you can see as we take you into tomorrow morning, there you can see most of the inland areas of Humboldt County dealing with some of the haze and smoke, not to mention Western Trinity County and Southwestern Siskiyou County as well. Now, as we take you into your Monday afternoon, big plume of smoke here, and some of it making its way into Northern Trinity County. So this is something to be aware of, especially if you're out towards Northern Trinity County, say Trinity Center, for example, uh, you might be dealing with some uh, more of that dense smoke. Look at this though. As we go to Tuesday morning, we're really gonna see that push southward. So most of Trinity County will be dealing with that smoke and haze as we take you through Tuesday morning that may try to say dissipate Tuesday afternoon. We'll have to kind of wait and see at this point, but looks like Tuesday morning in particular will be the worst day for Trinity County. Here's what it looks like for the rest of the night tonight and into tomorrow. You'll notice the inland areas are finally breaking away from the 90s. So we're calling for highs in the upper 80s and for the coast in the mid 60s. And for Trinity County, you've got temperatures in the upper 80s for your daytime highs. Notice on Monday, chance for showers, chance for thunderstorms in the forecast as well. You can see the big picture, storm systems kind of up to our north. Those are mainly pushing to the north of us. You've got this trailing cold front right here, but it's fairly stationary and it really isn't gonna bring us much in the way of clouds or rain for that matter. But I wanna show you the visible satellite. You can clearly see all those puffy cumulus clouds developing. This is where the bulk of the thunderstorm activity has been, although we did see some thunderstorm activity, especially down into central and southern portions of Trinity County. We could see more activity this evening before it quiets down again overnight tonight. In fact, take a look at 6 p.m. Now, there still may be a lingering shower or thunderstorm for parts of Trinity County, especially northern Trinity County, but overall, I think most of it will be in western Siskiyou County. By tonight, it is all gone. And then we've got round three of thunderstorms on Monday. Notice, especially northern Trinity County, we're seeing those thunderstorms begin to pop up. We take you into 4 p.m. Now it's getting down to the south. And notice how strong some of these thunderstorms are gonna be. You know, I think about what we saw yesterday in Trinity County, we might see some thunderstorms as strong, if not stronger than some of the storms we saw on Saturday. Now we take you into Monday night at 8 p.m. It's finally drying out and it looks like it'll be dry for your Tuesday as well under mainly sunny skies. That's gonna continue into Tuesday night. There's Tuesday night at about 10 p.m. All right, let's take a look at the overall big picture here because this is something we gotta monitor closely. And this is really gonna have an impact on whether or not we see rain later this week. Okay, so let's take a look at this is the area of low pressure responsible for the activity we've seen over the weekend and we'll see again tomorrow. This will then shift down to the south and then push off to the east and fizzle out. In the meantime, a pocket of colder air will break off from the upper level flow from Canada. And this is gonna number one, bring us significantly cooler temperatures. That's the main thing we're all going to experience. But number two, we've gotta watch the positioning of this area of low pressure because with it centered over eastern parts of Northern California, what will happen is the bulk of showers and thunderstorms will be in this region here. Some of those will be in the eastern mountains and Siskiyou County, but most likely with it positioned here, 
Trinity County, and not to mention the inland areas of Del Norte and Humboldt County, would be dry. If we were to take this and shift it a little bit more to the west, now you're talking about everyone getting in on the showers and thunderstorms, including the Sacramento Valley and including possibly the coast as well. If we were to shift this a little bit more to the east, now I think most of it would just be in the eastern mountains and even that wouldn't be very significant and then that would mean everyone else would be dry. So where this area of low pressure decides to park itself is going to strongly determine on who gets showers and who doesn't. So for now, I'm keeping things dry for Trinity County, but that could change. Now that'll move out, then we get a big, broad trough of low pressure. This is a cold storm system, by the way, but we will have these disturbances kind of pushing on through, getting closer to us. And as of right now, it looks like those disturbances will break apart before getting here, and you'll see that. So let's take you into Thursday. You see how we're seeing mo most of the activity in the Eastern Mountains? This would support that the area of low pressure would mainly be off to the east into Western Nevada. And then on the back side of that, we tend to see some of the activity, but you'll notice everyone else is dry on Thursday, including Trinity County and not to mention the inland areas. Now we're gonna kind of zoom it out here and see these systems kind of approaching, but how they're breaking apart before getting here. So it looks like the coast should, for the most part, remain dry through next week and not to mention going into next weekend. But we're seeing changes in overall weather pattern. So we've gotta be aware of that. And as a result, we can't take looking out five, six, seven days to be the exact uh, solution here. So keep a close eye on the forecast in the coming days as we'll probably be able to fine tune and tweak that forecast and get a better idea exactly who's gonna see rain and who's not. But bottom line, everyone will see significantly cooler temperatures, especially by the time we get into Thursday, Friday, and into next weekend. We're going from the 80s down into the 70s by the end of the week and this weekend for Weaverville. Check this out. These wave heights are really starting to increase by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon. Even as we get closer to the coast here, we're gonna be looking at those higher wave heights as well. So we've gotta be aware of that. So we do have a beach hazard statement for all of Del Norte and not to mention Humboldt counties. I apologize for covering up some of these areas here, but you get the idea. It's mainly along the coastline here for all of the North Coast that will expire at 8 p.m. So, you know, this is the situation where when you have these big waves, you can get these sneaker waves that can come in. So you can't turn your back to the ocean if you're gonna be out there. Oh, here it is zoomed out. There you can clearly see where it is at this point here. And again, that expires at 8 p.m. All right, let's take a look at your marine forecast. Now the winds, now we're mainly looking at just off the coast here. The winds will be from the southwest at five knots, waves from the northwest at five feet at 12 seconds. Now your low tide will be at 8, 12 in the morning and your high tide at 2:41. Of course, you've got that beach hazard statement I was talking about along the coast here. Here's what it looks like tonight. Mainly cloudy skies and foggy for the coast. Otherwise, mainly clear skies elsewhere and dry conditions. Tomorrow, you'll notice I don't have any rain here for Weaverville or Hayford. Actually, it looks like I have included it in there. Uh, that's that, excuse me, we're looking at Monday. <laughs> we're looking at tomorrow. Yes, of course, we're gonna be looking at showers and thunderstorms here in Trinity County, but most likely it will stay dry in uh, the eastern portions of Humboldt County, not to mention Del Norte County, and not to mention dry, but mostly cloudy skies out along the coast. All right, let's take a look at your seven day outlook. So here's what we've got here. Dry conditions for Crescent City for the next seven days. Dry conditions for Hoopa for the next seven days, but a big drop in our temperatures by the end of the week. Still that chance for showers and thunderstorms in Weaverville, but then dry the rest of the week and into that next weekend. Let's take a look at your seven day outlook for Eureka. Also looking at dry conditions. First day of fall, we'll actually transition to fall Friday night. So the first full day of fall will be on Saturday with a high of 64 degrees.